When people think of music, nine times out of 10, they're thinking about an orchestra. This is actually a scientific fact that everybody should know. So let me show you how to make some intense orchestral trap melodies like Tommy Prophet and Metro Boomin. Fun fact, these melodies are actually super easy to make. The first thing we want to focus on is a big impactful sound that has a lot of depth. It should also fill up the low end of our frequencies. And what better way to do this than to layer a bunch of pianos? Pianos are especially impactful because they are percussive instruments, and by layering we can add a lot of depth to them. Since we want a dark and intense vibe, we want to build tension slowly, have a specific climax, and then slowly reach our resolution. I have some suspended second chords here, and what a suspended chord is, is it's when you take the third of the chord, bring it down to the second, or bring it up to the fourth. So these suspended second chords here will build some tension, but it's not too far removed from the first chord, which is going to be our point of resolution. The fourth chord is as far away from the tonal center as we can possibly get, and is intended to be used as a point of tension. And in this chord progression, this is going to be our climax. It's also really important to keep the chord notes in common here. And to do this, we can use inversions. So I'll invert the D5 down an octave. So the fourth is intended to resolve into the one chord, but we want more of a gradual descent into resolution. Now we can do this by taking the sixth chord, inverting the top two notes down an octave. And because this chord so closely resembles the one chord in root position, it can be used as a way to extend tension. And then to further extend that tension, I go back into the suspended second chord, and then this all gets resolved back on the one chord. By the way, you can get this loop and many more loops for free over on a website I've recently created with two of my homies called PresetSupply.com. A link for that will be down in the pinned comments. So to fill up that lower frequency range, we'll want to add some bass notes. And whenever I'm having heavy bass notes, I like to layer them down an octave like I've done here. For a dark vibe, you will want to have your bass notes descend. And to maintain that slow tension that we're building, we will have quite a few notes repeat like I've done here. So I felt like those pianos were a little bit dry. So to fix that, I just layered in this pad. It's literally just following the chord notes. One of the best melody making tips that I've ever received was to make wave-like shapes with your MIDI notes. And that's exactly what I've done here with this string ensemble. As you can see, we start high, we go down, and then we come back up. This will pick up a lot of energy here and also loop nicely back into the beginning. To add to the rhythm of the piece, I added in this staccato string. There are small embellishments at the end of the 4th and the 8th bar. For more rhythmic components like 808s, it's better to have your variation on the 4th and 8th bar, otherwise your pattern can sound too busy or messy. And because I was adding this for a rhythmic component, that's exactly what I did here. And to finish it off, I added in this opera vocal chop from Arcade, because what's more intense than an opera vocal chop? If y'all want to learn more about making beats, press the like, comment, and subscribe button to keep up with all my videos. Also, don't forget to check out PresetSupply.com to get a bunch of free kits. I also just want to say a big thank you to the channel members displayed on screen right now. If you want to become a channel member and gain access to exclusive perks, press the join button down below. And here's the full thing.